Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Do you remember the times when I made some videos called Realistic Expectations about vehicles that were just announced in the dev blog? Well, today I make something like this, but I try to make it short, I try to make it really snappy, and not just about one, but all the current dev blocks that there are. So far we have six, all of them on tanks, no aircraft, no ship has been announced, which is kind of a little bit sad for me because I still have a heart for Air RB. But this is certainly not the end for the dev block run, many more to come. But before we go and talk about the vehicles, please um, be sure that you have access to the dev server and check if you can update it. Do it now every day before you go to bed and um, maybe you get then the you be then lucky and have the dev server updated when you can get access to it public access mostly this is nowadays uh, on weekend so be sure to always check the news and uh, always coordinate it with your friends hey if you know that uh, it has been announced then you know exchange messages twitter facebook WhatsApp, you name it. So this is uh, very important because then you can get for yourself the very first impression. So let's go on with my realistic expectations. And the first one is the Samovente 105, 25 M3. Low profile, high power. So it looks a bit like uh, one of the German Stucks, but with the howitzer, so in the dev blog it is actually mentioned as the Stu. It has some nice camouflages, it looks cool, but it doesn't have the highest rate of fire, it doesn't have the uh, most effective armor while being 75 millimeters strong at the front. It is a big target area and it's flat, so it depends on the battle rating, but this is a premium tank, so I'm a bit more critical towards premium tanks. If they are overpowered or if they are not worth it, than with a regular tech tree because you have to invest quite a lot of money. And this is a pre-order for 25 euros. That is not cheap and it's only rank three. So currently the rank four, the M26 Ariete, is in a nutshell a better tank because it actually has a turret, you know? <laughs> and despite not having the greatest firepower, I still think it would be the better choice. So, um, it has a howitzer, it has heat, um, Gaijin states that it is best used at close ranges, uh, in city fights, oh god. Um, but yeah, it looks cool, I'm looking forward to uh, play it and to test it out, not just on the death server, but you can be sure that I will have fun with it because it's not high tier. This is my personal opinion. My absolute opinion on this uh, on this vehicle you will see after the patch when I do a tank review so if you can resist the pre-order you might want to wait for my tank review on it and that's all that I have to say about this one moving on the Breda 501 when looks deceased uh, Deceive. When looks deceive. Okay. Um, strong English, comrade. What we see is practically the German uh, 88 Flak 36 vehicle that can fire only to the front. I'm not quite sure about the firing arcs, the gun handling and overall the mobility. While it is a 10 wheel carrier, because I count every single wheel and if you have double wheels in the back, those are two per side. So this is 8 plus 2 is 10. Um, so three axis vehicle that was a joke okay so um 90 millimeter tank destroyer mode some machine guns in back 90 millimeter looks great um, we'll see how it actually works seems to be somewhat similar to the german uh, 88 flak 36 depends on the higher rate of fire if it has like the five seconds we'll see but about the mobility um no a wheeled tank destroyer with a casemate design is absolute trash. This is not like the Packwagen and even the Packwagen has severe problems. Uh, what the Packwagen has is an awesome Pack 75mm high muscle velocity anti-tank gun. This one has a 90mm, but it's a much bigger target, it is much less maneuverable, I can see it from the footage. It has its difficulties coming around the corner where you need the driver assistance mode. It has problems with getting uh, strafed by aircraft, open top tank, and uh, 
Uh, I'm okay with it because it's a tech tree tank. It seems to be somewhat the flavor for the Italians. I'm okay with it. Again, I could be totally wrong, but this is what I see that it has problems on medium and uh, soft terrain. Uh, it has, pro it will have problems, no doubt about this, climbing up a hill despite any sort of horsepower to ton ratio. This is how any sort of wheel tank destroyer in War Thunder is and because it just only can steer with one axis it doesn't have the maneuverability um, of the uh, puma or any sort of german sonder kraftfahrzeug so please keep this in mind don't get overexcited i know that sounds a bit boring when somebody is there and saying oh, it's not the best but stay with me but at least it's not a pre-order i love the skins i love the look of it um it uh, it is again a great addition to the diversity within war thunder um so there is this but it's not very well suited for the meta that's all that i want to say moving on and again the third italian tank the m1441 smooth start so i guess it's a very low battle rating vehicle it looks a bit like an um a t26 from the russians uh, the gun reminds me a little bit about the german captured or german produced t38s uh riveted hull flat armor not the smallest target yet it is low tier so i will check it out for sure um, at least with one video maybe not a tank review because you know over analyzing a tier one vehicle can be quite exhausting um, but i think it is a nice looking tank again i love my low tier tanks from time to time i have an excuse to play them at low tier <coughs> <Shield club. coughs> so we'll see how it goes yeah um that is also not the fastest tank and not the best gun handling, I guess, but the gun will be able to deal with the majority of opponents that it faces. Now let's move on. And this is the Dalek tank. If you are a Doctor Who fan, uh, shot Karl Dalet. It's a Dalek tank and uh, <laughs> eliminate, eliminate. Yeah, there we go. America all over again, but with British tank and Israeli modification yeah so this tank is unique and again oh pre-order for 60 dollars how cheap <laughs> so um i think this is the rank 5 premium for the british and to to make it short it will be probably the best tank for the british that they have in their tech tree why because this is the very best performing l7 that i can tell you it's basically like an armored leopard a1 a1 uh, with the l7 because um, it will be the first british tank that has access to heat it has also apf sds i guess the gun is stabilized but i'm not quite sure looking at the footage we'll have to see again if you can resist the pre-order wait for my tank review on it oh it doesn't really look to have a stabilized gun hmm that's interesting but it has era package it has uh, obviously the premium bonus and also some machine guns including a 50 caliber machine gun so this is having the best of all worlds okay it, it it is the centurion it's also fast it has a stronger engine and the top speed ends at 48 kilometers per hour so that makes it like over a third faster or a third faster than the centurion mark 10 with Euro protection and AP FSDS and heat FS and 50 caliber machine gun um, and smoke and everything. So the best British vehicle will be a premium. Well done, Gaijin. Well done. Um, I think there is nothing more to say. Don't fall for a pre-order. It can be all look a bit deceiving. You know what I mean? So wait for the dev server, as I mentioned in the beginning, and also wait, please, for my tank review. I don't know if the pre-order bonus unique uh, gosh formation decal on Scorch title is actually worth it. It's up to you, but not that you regret it at the end of the day. Talking about regretting, Challenger 1 Mark III, a royal sink for Silver Line and RP. That's all that it is. This sounds very harsh, but stay with me, it makes sense. As it is stated in the dev block, this will be the highest tank for the British, so it will be placed after the Challenger 1 Mark II in the, in the tech tree at best. And this would be good, it would be in the folder. Why? Well, because then this tank, which brings you nothing, 
for top tier because the gun is the same, the gun handling is the same, um, the mobility is a tick worse even, the ammunition is the same and overall the armor layout is the same and era packs does help you against nobody because everybody is firing APF SDS and it doesn't seem to have that era protection on the top which would protect it from helicopters. So because the era packs weigh a bit more and it doesn't have a better power plant that actually reduces the horsepower to ton ratio not by a dramatic amount but it's already the slowest tank at top tier and that always has been the factor for the challenger overall and also the chieftains that actually denied them the hull down position uh, to even get into that and to use it and to go with the flow of the battle um, and I think the biggest advantage that this tank is that it doesn't have or that the biggest advantage that this tank will have is that it doesn't have to fight the Americans with their hordes of Abrams. I know I said it now very often but this is what it boils down to. So everybody that's kind of not very amused with Gaijin's decision at the moment is right but we might see something else I have no idea it's not the end of the deathlock run but for this mo at this moment it doesn't really look all that great for the British to be honest um, because in the next patches we will undoubtedly see the challenger mark 2 at some point or another better version of the challenger 1 I don't know I don't really care about top tier but currently then this tank will stand between uh, the current Challenger 1 Mark 2 and then the tank that will get introduced in the upcoming patches for the British and this tank I mean yeah it's kind of an overall free backup tank but it's overall useless that's what I want to say it doesn't bring anything new to, for the British it doesn't really uh, attack here the weakness of the British tech tree talking about attacking weaknesses this now brings us to the M3 Bradley and there it is iconic combat vehicle and it has a rapid firing 25 millimeter gun and also here deployable ATGM launchers which are not usable while you are on full speed I don't know the details of this tank but it's an infantry fighting vehicle and I love those. I personally love them. Uh, it depends on the battle rating, depends on uh, how much penetration the APDS has and also if it's fully stabilized, how it stacks up to the um, BMP2 and also the Big Light Panzer, furthermore also uh, the Warrior. So this is very important. But this is another High, mobi high mobility platform for the Americans which already have one of the uh, fastest uh, tank lines in game. It's nice for the Americans but this is another addition that kind of the British in one way or another from the pure performance from what I expect. Again please wait here for the tank review on this. I want to see how it really performs. If, if there are any bugs, how the mobility really is, how the armor really works out against uh, all the other subcaliber uh, infantry fighting vehicle spamming thingies work we will see so yeah a nice addition for the Americans um, mo mobile 66 kilometers per hour 80 GMs APDS firing 25 millimeter gun yeah it will be fun it will be in line again with the warrior and with the BMP2 um, I will have fun with this one so that's it with my overall realistic expectations on the first six of the dev blocks. I hope I made it short. I'm not quite sure how long the video is running, but I digress. So this is now um, the current state of the dev blocks. More dev blocks hopefully to come in, especially about aircraft, especially about ships, especially about lower tier tanks, not just Italian ones where we see the introduction with their... Uh, with their uh, tanks, tank line. And uh, yeah, that's it for me today. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this rather quick rundown of the dev blocks in a summary and to see this in context. Remember, more dev blocks will join uh, us soon and always check if your uh, dev server launcher is updated. Again, that's it for me finally today and we'll see each other on the battlefields of War Thunder after you have liked and subscribed. See you on the battlefields.